One of the most important tricks to pull off in the lab is to always, always, always fold over the corner of your lab tape every time that you go and you take a new piece. Not only is this going to make it easier to pull off the labels so you don't get stuff getting stuck on like this, but also now you don't have to be going and digging around trying to find the end of your tape and then with your gloved fingers try to pry it off. So this folded over is really, really handy. Um, you can either, if you are good with a big flap, what you can do is as you're pulling it off, fold the tape over, put your, press your thumb down and tear it like that. And now you have a nice flap. Um, I learned this particular strategy from Austin DK. Um, he had a video online I found. Um, in the past, I basically just tear it off and fold the tip over. And sometimes I still do this because basically now you get a smaller tab Whereas if you fold it over the big way, um, then this tab might be too big for you and it might get in the way and stuff like this. But whatever you do, every time you go and take a new piece, make sure that you fold over the flap so that you have a flap on your next piece and then you have a flap to help you pull the tape off. So the flap is especially, especially important every time that you stick on something in the autoclave. The autoclave, it's like this heat pressure sterilizer and it's gonna get things stuck on here really, really tightly. So first off, don't put any tape on the in the autoclave that doesn't need to be there. So if there are old labels, take them off before you put them in the autoclave or it's gonna be really hard to get them off. For the autoclave tape itself, well that has to go in the autoclave because it's what's gonna tell you if the thing is sterile. And this autoclave tape, well, it's tape and so you're gonna want to make sure that you have a flap on it so that you can pull it off because now if you don't have a flap, you're gonna get stuff stuck on here. And what can happen is you end up with layers and layers and layers of autoclave tape and it looks like something is, once you pull off the, the real autoclave tape, like the one that you did most recently, you still have all these layers and now can, I, can you tell if it's really sterile or not? Um, and then you have a hard time actually pulling it off. So in this case, I was able to pull it off, but sometimes you can't. Speaking of when you can't pull stuff off, um, you might have to like take a razor, take a little acetone, take something solvent to get things off. You want to avoid that if you can. Um, and so doing this flap, this tab flipping over is going to be very, very, very useful. And everybody should do that in every lab um, so that your labels don't get stuck on there. Now, sometimes you have the opposite problem where your labels won't stick. Um, so this probably sounds stupid like duh, but make sure that your bottle is dry and there's nothing like spilling out make sure that your gloves are dry when you're putting on a label you have no idea how many times i've like been in a hurry and i have wet gloves or a wet bottle and i try to slap a label on there and then it just like slides off so make sure that everything is dry also if you're using something that's going in the freezer be really 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 careful with any tape even those things like those cryo dots that say they're safe for the minus 80 um especially if you're doing some sort of snap freezing if these touch liquid nitrogen they typically like pop off which is really non-ideal especially when you do all this work you put all these labels on which these labels are nice because you can write more easily on them some of them are even printable and so then you're able to label all these tubes and you put it you go and you flash freeze it and you put it in the freezer and then you go and you look and like all these labels have come off true story it can happen so be really really careful with the cryo dots and make what i like to do is like put some sort of marking on the tube itself just in case that label falls off so make sure that these labels stay on um, but make sure that all these temporary labels are going to come off. So just remember, every time you go to pull off a piece of tape, tab it over. Now you've got a tab on your label and you've got a tab to help you find the, the ends next time.